Hello Fabers! Welcome to Fala Barcelona. This is going to be the tutorial on how to use the precision mill in CNC to mill your PCBs. In order to do so, we need to prepare some material. First, of course, the CNC. In our case, we're going to need the SRM20 of Roland. That is a quite good micro precision mill in CNC. Double side tape, uh, PCB plates. These ones are copper, a paper base, and they are FR1. You have a small ones and you also have big ones for your larger projects. A 164 end mill that is really small, you need to be really careful while using it, and 132 inches end mill that is going to be used for the outcut of the PCB. A brush to actually clean your PCB and take the dust out and clean the machine after you use it. A cutter knife to cut the excess of double side tape and a spatula to help you out the take the PCB out of the cut when you finish. Here you can see that we have a wide range of end mills for different ursus and different types of uh, PCB milling or molding and casting and as you can see we have tons of. Depends on what you do, you, need to, you will need to choose a different type of end mill. And of course your laptop with a dedicated software that you're going to use to control the machine. For producing the files for the PCB you can just use your browser and use mods or fan modules to produce the files to cut with this machine. So let's start to prepare the components to set up the machine and cut our PCB. So let's gonna take one of the small PCBs. Be careful to don't take and touch the super surface of copper with your fingers because that will leave marks of the grease that you have on your fingers. Let's put the double side tape. Let's not overlap the double side tape. It's quite important. That will create mini bumps that will not make a even cut through all the surface of your PCB. You use the cutter knife to cut the excess of material of the double side tape on both sides. And let's take the protection cover of the double side tape too. we need to initialize the machine. For it, the on-off button is here on the top right corner. So you click on and you go and switch on the program for the machine. That is called vPanel. When the software has initialized, the machine will move the surface and the sacrificial board to the front of the machine. Then you can open the cover. We're gonna fix the PCB to the sacrificial board. For it, please don't touch the copper surface. So we're gonna align it to the left down corner and don't touch it with your fingers. You can use a little bit of tissue or just your shirt and press it on the surface. So now we need to put the end mill on the collet of the machine. I will choose the 164 end mill be careful when you open the cover because it's a really small and sensible milling bit. Don't touch the point with your fingers as you will break it. To open the collet, we always leave the tool here in, with an allen key and a magnet on the side of the machine so we never lose it. Tightening the collet, we have to do it gently but firmly. I will put the allen key in the collet and slowly introduce the end mill. I will do it by holding the end mill always with the finger so it doesn't fall. Now uh, let's actually make the X, Y and Z on the top of our PCB plate. So we open V panel and we can move the machine with this kind of joystick on X, Y and one independent for the Z. We have different moving speeds. We have continuous movement, one millimeter step, 0 0.1 millimeter step and 0 0.01 millimeter step. For it, we can move in continuous mode for X and Y. And I'm going to do a small step movement so I don't crash the Z on the top of the surface. Okay, I want to leave it above like 3 mm above the PCB plate, but never touch it. Once we have done that, what we can do is open the machine, release the collet while holding the end mill so it never gets to fall on the PCB plate. We always hold it so it never falls down. Let's find 
the opening. Yeah. And we gently let it lay down on the top of the PCB plate. We push a little bit lower and we tighten. Let's produce the file for cutting. For it, I will, we will go to uh, Modes, CBA Community Edition, and we will open a program, open program, and we'll choose SRM PCB mill. That will open up the script to actually produce the files for PCB milling. As you see, it's a little bit confusing, but don't worry, it's quite easy. We just will touch in a few components. We need to look for the files we want to cut. Let's open up the PNG file that we have downloaded or we have created with the KiCad or EagleCAD. So select the PNG file. My file is in the desktop. So I will first choose the interior cut, the traces. Okay, we always need to check that the size are correct. That means the scaling up DPI is correct. This seems quite logical. It's like 20, 20 millimeter and PCB. And we need to choose the process. So first we're gonna do mill traces. Okay, we have to choose correctly the process with the end mill we want to follow up. Before cal click on calculate, we double check the values that are correct. And we need to make a little bit of modification because right now this script is prepared to control the machine on live, but this only works on Mac and Linux. Right? In this case, I'm using Windows, so I need to delete this module and I'm gonna automatically save my file to here. So you can click and click and they will automatically make the link between the machine, uh, the script and our computer. So we need to make a few changes. The speed of the machine we want to use for the 164 end mid is three or four. And the origin we want to actually start where we have set up. We don't want to make any offset, neither on X, neither on Y, neither on Z. And the yoke height is correct. Is the height that the machine is gonna move during the air traveling moves. Home is the final position that the machine will reach once has finished cut the file. So we can just click right now on calculate. It's calculating and as you see, it's saving automatically the file to my computer. Okay, perfect. I will do both files right now. So we save a little bit of time and we need to go over again the computer. So I will select the PNG file. Now we'll choose the interior cut, always out cut of the PCB. The file size matches the previous one. Now it's time to change the milling speed. For the 132, as we are gonna cut through all the PCB depth, we want to go slightly slower. So we're gonna choose a 0.5 millimeter per second speed. Okay. We choose the process. Remember to change the process because we're gonna change to 132 and nil. Okay, we have chosen that one. And we click into calculate. That will automatically save the file on our computer too. In case you want to review the file that is being produced, you can click in view. That will open up a new window in your computer, in your browser, and you can see the file. We can just open the panel right now. As, are we ready to cut? Let's find out. We have switch on the machine. We are controlling it with B panel. We have make X, Y, and Z origin on the machine. We have the correct end mill. The PCB is correctly laid down on the sacrificial board with double side tape. We have the next tools ready and we have made the file. So now it's time to cut. So let's go in cut, delete the previous files and select the trace cut right now. That is the one for the 164 end mill. So you click in open and in the instant you press output, the machine will automatically start cutting. So let's go, fire on the hole. We can open the cover, take the little bit of the dust on top of the PCB to check that the mill is 
has been correct, it's perfect. Let's change the end mill. So we hold it with a finger, we open the collet, I put the cover, let's put in this, in this protection cover, and let's take the 132 end mill. So I will introduce it, hold it with my finger, tighten a little bit, put the allen key in place, close the cover. Now it's time to do the origin in Z. Remember, only in Z, not X, Y. In order to make the process easier, we can click on move to origin X, Y. So the machine will automatically move to the previous setup origin on X and Y. Okay, perfect. So let's move to one millimeter steps on the Z down and let's move the end mill slowly, slowly down. Okay, a little bit closer. And we will repeat the same process. Lay down the end mill on the cutting plate. Tighten, okay, I think I didn't tighten well enough. Yes, gently. Okay, and we still need to set up the Z origin. For it, we will do the same as we did before. We just click in this set origin Z. Are you sure you want to set up the Z origin? Yes, only Z. So now it's time to load the second file. So we click in cut again, delete the previous files, add the interior one that is the exterior cut or out cut, open up, and output. It will start cutting. Let's clean a little bit the dust out. Seems perfect. Let's help try to take it out. Let's use the spatula for it, and surprise! Our small PCB milling is finished. We can take the double side tape of the back of the PCB plate, or we can use it to stick it to the table and to help us solder the PCB. So remember to clean the machine after you use, close the lids, and save all the tools where they should be.